So let's quickly learn how we can make this cool glowing box animation. And one thing you need to realize that this top section, which is like the heading color change, might require addition, not might, but I'm sure it requires additional CSS. So you could use the additional CSS from your theme. But the problem with this additional CSS from your theme is that it will run this CSS uh, functionality to all your website. And if you don't wish to do that, you could simply buy Elementor Pro from my link below and that way you could help me or you could use the plugin called Royal Elementors for add-on which adds like a free custom CSS panel around here but I would still suggest buying Elementor Pro because it's one less plugin to worry about and just to show you guys what we can make if you don't want to do with uh, the heading color change you could do it for free you could see this one you could make it for free this one also you can make it make it for free and if you don't want to download and do this all process by yourself i'm actually giving away lots of elementor templates that i'm making so they are like elementor buttons hero sections a business landing page and soon i'm going to add this one which is multiple feature sections that have like different styles and all you need to do is copy paste it's all free here you could see this one's this cool looking glass morphism effect this cool ones are going to be given soon so just check the website so that you don't have to do it manually so let's just quickly start how i made this one so for this one i'll basically copy this one and then delete the sections so that we start from nothing i'll add a container i'm going to make this full width just to show you guys this one is made into horizontal layout and we have selected wrap and let me just check the size it is 32% and 250 minimum height so let me just make it this one you don't need to do the same size okay it is completely dependent on you i'm just making sure to do it the same way next we will do is add a border radius of like let's say 25 just to see what we are doing i'm going to make this one red and this is what we have done i'm going to copy this one uh, but what we have basically done is we have added a heading tag and then this one has around 30 pixels so we will also add 30 pixels around here padding and i will basically do is copy and then paste style but you don't need to do that you can basically just choose the white color do it manually like this one and in this one which is called add your heading text i'll call this one like glowing text i'm going to give it a css class so let's call it glow text 2 because we have already given the class here so we don't want this to be same so i'll give it glow text 2 like this but nothing's going to happen so let me also copy this one which is basically a paragraph just copy this like text editor and then do the color and all changes i'm going to make the alignment so i'm going to align self middle and then i'm also going to do this one this section you don't need to do all of this this is just like to make it look like this the main glowing effect is basically let me just choose the colors from here so that we have the same colors so for this one i'm going to make the background one nothing empty and for some reason the transition from this to this don't work as well as i thought which is why we are going to use the background overlay gradient and let's do this make this one and you could see nothing's happening because we have to set a color right here i'm going to make it to like one second and then let me just so now this issue i'm not sure how to fix this with elementor because even though they have given us a transition duration it doesn't work as well as i thought so what i did was i basically made this one transparent and then i made sure that these two are same so you could see and to be honest we don't even um, need to do anything around here so we can basically just turn this to opacity zero because we don't even need to worry about this one as the color because we can animate the opacity but not the gradients color 
and i think that's how css works but i'm not much uh, i'm not much sure about it how it works so basically for normal one we have kept the opacity 0 and uh, this one we have kept the opacity to 1 so that when you hover it like animates like this it goes from 0 to 1 and here I've changed this to radial and then here you could see I've changed this to bottom center like this and right now the colors are being different so let me just make sure this one is so now we can see it is doing that uh, actually it is bugging out so let me just do one thing and now one issue that you have we are finding is that it is changing like top to bottom right because it's simple because i have made this one this one should have like at top and this one should be at the bottom and this two should be same okay so even though i have done this okay and this one also should be radial and with bottom center so make sure everything is same around this two so that it's everything is same you see except the transition uh, opacity one and then transition duration one so now we got this effect which looks cool and here you could see all we need to do is now work with how much you want how this should look like this so i'm just going to check this and see what i've done in here so i've done like 0 to 100 and 0 to 100 so nothing crazy 0 to 100 0 to 100 but you could also choose choose whatever you want to so we 0 to 100 0 to 100 changing the glowing text like this next is our border so we need to give a solid border of let's say 2 pixel and i'm going to keep this one as like this way i guess this color so that it is similar to this one a slight slight uh, slight shiny one give this one the same it is two pixels so make sure this is also two pixel copy it and now we get this nice effect and that's this slight uh weird stuff that happens when you like move your mouse out but it's not that noticeable so it's okay and now the issue is our icon the heading one because if we checked around this one we can change the heading but we are actually reached this point which is for the free one and for the css one actually you could use this css in additional css too so even free one it works so let's just choose the glow text i'm going to do is copy this one span class glow text we are going to call it glow text too and what we are doing is basically in this heading we are giving this a class of glow text and then let's close it span so basically this heading is now given a class of glow text too now this one needs to be given an another class i'll call it glow box two and basically change this here and let me show what we are doing right now so we are basically saying that when glow box 2 is hovered which is this box dot glow text should change this color to this one and then we are giving a transition duration around here to one second so that it is the same duration as our animation behind this box so let me copy give this main container and then paste it and then here you could see we also need to change this to glow box 2 and then this one to glow box text because we have given this so basically make sure this all are perfectly given the right class name and here you could see it works perfectly and now let's say you do not want to use this custom css from here so basically just make sure you are given the classes correctly given the classes correctly let's update it nothing's happening this is not changing i'm going to paste this around here but let's wait to show you guys you could see it's not changing and then i'm going to publish it Re reload this and you could see it still works and now one more thing you guys need to realize or not realize but do 
is to have different colors for different sections you also need to give it different name for example this heading is given glow text to so let me just remove this and this one is given glow text 3 and each box is given different value around this one so glow text 2 is this color and for this one we are given glow text 3 like this oops the main container so your glow text 3 and given this color so basically you will need to make sure that it is switched change to glow text 3 glow text 3 and basically we are giving different heading class to each of this one same around here if you want to do it you will need to give it custom css class with glow text 2 glow text 3 and keep on going how with the amount of containers that you have and that's why i prefer you buying elementor pro so that you could just keep every settings around here and do it quickly